All right, now that you have an idea of what you can do with the scheduler once it is set up, let me take you through the settings that you need to go through to set it up. So I'm going to go to Company Settings first. And there is a Scheduler Settings option here. You need to enable Job Area. The scheduler is built on this concept that is geographical, and we call it the Job Area. So you need to enable Job Area. And then if you want to see that weekly scheduler on that ECI tab that I showed you, you want to click this box here. And then, really for that to work right, I recommend you click the Set Schedule Capacity by Installer. I'm going to leave Warn if Installer is Overbooked checked, and I'm going to leave Schedule Jobs by Time, and I'm going to leave Default Filter for Daily Scheduler both. I'm going to save that. Now, you need to have installers in your system in order to schedule them. So I'm going to go to my company employees. I'm not going to go to installer maintenance yet because I got to have actually have installers in there to maintain. The installer maintenance is not where you actually enter them. You enter them in your employees and you make sure that your employees that are installers have the checkbox installer checked in their employee profile. That's how you get installers in your system. And then you go to installer maintenance and this is where you design what their workday is like. So if I select one of these, like John here, you'll see that I set, I gave John a capacity of three in the morning, three in the afternoon, Monday through Friday. And I also put in his start address. The start address is either going to be the shop, if they start out from your shop, or their home. I assume it's going to be usually one of those two. And you want to put the start address in there because that gives them a start pin on the map in the, the daily scheduler. And I give it here. Now, notice here, I put an exception for this guy. And I said today he's off uh, because he has a very important golf tournament. When you set exceptions, what you'll see is it looks a little different on that job area scheduler. There's a, there's a shaded aspect to that installer's column, and I'll show you that when, when we get to that. So, my installers exist. I've, I've set their hours and their capacities. So I'm going to close out of here. The next thing you need to do is go under Lists and go to Job Area, because you need to create and design a job area. You have to have at least one. And I recommend you might want to start with one. A lot of people will use more than one job area because they'll have a certain way the geography works in, in the area that they cover. And it helps them use the daily scheduler better to have multiple job areas because they have certain guys that do certain areas. And that's cool. I'm not going to do that here, but I'm just going to set up one job area because you do have to have one in here for to even use the scheduler. So I'm going to call mine Portland. Like you saw on there. Now I'm going to click Edit. The first thing to do is add an installer. I'm actually going to add all three of my guys. You need to add, you add the installer based on their employee ID, but you also give them a display name. And the display name is what shows in that job area, that calendar-looking scheduler that has the columns. And you'll notice my capacities all went to 9 in the morning and 9 in the afternoon because each guy can do 3. And now I need to add zip codes. So I'm going to go to my state. And... It's sorted by city alphabetically right now, but you can change the sort. You can click the column heading or the column header, and it will sort by that column, much like an Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to go down to Portland. I'm just going to select this Portland. I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to use my shift key. I'm going to hold down my shift key. Select this one here. 
I have now selected all of Portland, all those zip codes. I'm going to assign that to my branch. I'm going to set that. So I've set the branch. And now that I've set the branch, I can go set the job area. So I've now created this job area of all the Portland zip codes. They're all in there now. And I'm going to save that and close. So if I go and schedule this job I have here, I'm going to click the copy customer address, get that zip code over there. So now we have the weekly scheduler down here. You can see all my guys. Double click right here today. And you'll notice. that these two have this availability area while Gifford here is all shaded darker because Gifford has the day off. So you get this little visual warning based on your your installer maintenance. And there we go. Scheduler is in place.